on um, a little bit of a blanket or maybe just on your um, mat and then take those fleshy parts of the six bones maybe wriggle a little bit to make that connection with the earth rest your hands on your knees and i'm just going to start with a very very um simple pranayama um, about grounding and expanding and then during the, the, the asanas, during um, the yoga, um, I'm, I'm always um, saying, you know, maybe you find that ujjayi breath, which would be perfect. So, uh, so now, um, if you want to, you can close your eyes. You can also keep your eyes open and just soften your gaze down towards the floor. And then without changing anything, just feel your feet, your ankles maybe, your hips uh, on the floor. Maybe feel your knees, the heaviness of your legs. And then just uh, walk up the spine towards your shoulders, maybe you feel the weight of your arms, of your shoulders. And then with your next exhale, sink in a little bit into that heaviness. Give into gravity. Heavy shoulders, elbows, hips, knees, feet. Let it ground you onto your mat. With every exhale, relax into that weight. Relax the belly. And then with your next inhale, focus on how it lifts you, how it expands the ribcage, your chest, how it lifts your shoulders. Gives you more space. Feel how easy that comes. Feel the lightness. There's not only a lift in the rib cage and into your shoulders, but also in your heart. Lift that heart space. Feel how you can become a little taller with your next inhale. Grow through the top of your head. And then let's combine that heaviness and the lightness, that grounding and that expanding. So your inhale lifts you, makes you tall, helps you expand and create space. And your exhale is grounding you down. Use the heaviness of the body. And 
and then slowly lower the chin towards the chest. Feel the stretch in your back. And then slowly open your eyes. And lift your head. Pull your shoulders. <clears throat> And then let's lie down on the back. <clears throat> Have your um, strap close by. So you have your knees bent, long neck. Again, feel the heaviness of your body and all the points of your back that connect now with the earth. Breathe and feel how the rib cage has space to expand. And when you exhale, let it sink down, relax down into the ground. Inhale, maybe into your belly and into the chest. Expand. Exhale, head, the body to relax, sinking down into the mouth. And then slowly bring the knees into your chest. And just rock from side to side. <clears throat> Feeling a different kind of heaviness with the legs into the chest, adding some weight. <clears throat> Breathe here. And then just for a moment with your necks, exhale, lift the head towards the knees. Squeeze everything together. And slowly relax everything down the head, your feet, and the hands to the side. Shake the legs out just a little bit. And then bring your right knee into your chest. Can hold on behind your right knee, flex that right foot, and just squeeze the knee into the chest, straight up. <clears throat> and then see if you want to either slide your um, left leg out and stretch it out, or if you want to maybe hover that left knee, that left leg, uh, a little bit over the ground, connecting with your core. If that feels a little too much and you're too shaky, um, then just lower your leg back down and feel the stretch. If you're good here, just flex both feet, push your heels away, and then with your next exhale, lift your head towards your right knee. And then slowly lower down the head and your left leg. Again, remember, if this is a little too much, listen to your body and bend that left knee. There's no need um, to, to be in pain right now. So and then um, maybe hold on lightly on top of the knee and then bring the right knee a little bit out towards the right shoulder. You can put your left um, hand onto your left hip. And then change the direction again, bring the knee right up in towards the chest. Breathe. And then bring the knee a little bit out towards the right shoulder, keep your feet flexed, pushing the heels away. And then bring the knee, the right knee in, hold on behind your um behind the knee and then bend your left leg again and see uh, how the next one feels maybe you want to keep that left knee bent 
So now we lift the um, right leg all the way up. See how that feels. <clears throat> and then lower it back down. Maybe point your foot and then straighten it, lift that right leg back up. See if you want to hold on uh, to the outside of your right foot with your right hand. You can you can definitely stay here. And if you don't reach your right foot, then hold on to your right thigh. And then what we're gonna do is we open that hip joint a little bit more if that is available to you. So you can press that right elbow into the right um, lower leg, into the shin bone. Then you can also see and play around with that. See if you want to maybe slide that left leg out a little bit and open that hip joint even more. If that's a little too intense, keep it bent and just breathe here. And then slowly let that right leg go back down and put the right foot back down, shake it out and see if you feel a difference here. And then we bring the left leg in. <clears throat> Same thing. So let's see how the maybe the left side feels a little different, right? So we flex that left foot and then um we can hover that right leg a little over the ground. You can keep it bent. And if that's too much, just lower the right leg down onto the floor. If you're okay with keeping it hovering over the ground here, connecting with your abs and also the hip flexor. Breathe here. And then slowly with your next exhale, let that right leg lower down towards the floor. Feel that opening up of the hip joints. And then again, um, you can bend your right leg. You can keep it straight, your choice. And then again, we move the left knee even towards the outside. So moving it out onto an angle so that left knee points towards your left shoulder. And then we relax it again and bring it straight up. With your next exhale, maybe let it go a little bit, get into the pulling away, and then bring it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then slowly lift your left foot. And again, you can hold on to the left foot. You can also hold on to the lower leg here onto your uh, calf muscle. Uh, absolutely fine. And see if you can uh, find a good, comfortable uh, opening up, stretching. You can hold on to the outside of your left foot. Use your elbow a little bit as an anchor to push into that left shin bone, my hip just did a little, little crack right up at the door. <laughs> my hip is not that loud yet. So then you can also put your right hand onto the right hip. See if you want to maybe bend that right knee, if that feels better, maybe you can relax a little more. It also lifts or tilts your pelvis a little up and that might be more comfortable for your lower back or for your hip. So um, yeah, play around, see what works best for you. And then when you find that, just breathe. And then slowly, 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 whenever you feel like, yeah, I'm ready, bring your knee back to the middle, bend your right knee and bring your left foot down, and shake the legs out a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, then take your strap and bring the right foot up. Put the belt onto your the, the ball of the foot and then just relax or not relax. Um, align and adjust 
the shoulders, create space between the shoulders and the ears. And then see where your chin is. Is it um, you know, pointing up towards the sky? Then slowly lower it down and lengthen the back of your neck. And then see your elbows, if they are relaxing a little bit. Bend, where are your shoulders? Are you lifting off the floor, right? Is your head lifting up? Put everything down. The knee doesn't have to be straight. It can be bent. And then just use the weight of your arms to pull the foot a little bit towards the earth and push this the, the ear towards the sky. See if you want to keep the knee bent and if you want to leave that left knee bent. If not, you can again stretch it out. And breathe. Expand with that. Inhale, maybe and um, give that a leg a little bit of room. And then when you exhale, relax down towards the earth. Maybe let the weight of the arms pull the leg a little towards you so that the back of your leg opens up, stretches. Relax the tongue in your mouth, your forehead, cheekbones. And then slowly bring both straps into the right hand. Your left hand goes onto your left hip and slowly open your uh, right leg towards the right. Again, maybe you want to see if you want to bend that left knee and even let it go out a little bit just to counterweight, see what it feels like. <clears throat> If the leg is down on the floor, flex your foot, activate that heel, push away both heels. And then slowly bring the leg over to the other side. If you feel like you want to stay a little bit longer out there, go ahead. If you're ready, move the leg over to the other side. It's a much smaller movement, of course. Keep your right hip on the floor, don't lift it up. Breathe. Again, focus on your heels, push them away. Don't worry about if the knee is straight or not. Both shoulders are on the floor. And then slowly bring the knee in. Uh, bring the leg back to the middle, bend the knee and take the strap up. And then you do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> so switch the bed over to the left floor of the foot, of the left foot. And then again, watch the rest of the body, your shoulders, the neck, the face, the jaw, and the breath. One full inhale and a full exhale. And with that exhale, let your arms become heavy. Use that weight to pull the foot down, push the heel up. And then if you want to, you can stretch the right leg out. Keep that right foot active. Breathe. I know I say this a lot, but I'm, I, I will now stop saying it. If that knee does not want to be straight today, that's fine. You don't have to have the knee straight. It's completely up to you, up to your body today. All right, and when you are ready, bring both straps into the left hand. Right hand can go onto the right hip. And then let the left leg go out towards the left side. Keep that foot flexed, the right foot flexed. Breathe here. Both shoulders are evenly on the floor. Relax the forehead, the temples. Cheekbones, the jaw, and the tongue in your mouth. 
breathe. If you feel like you can't relax your face, maybe you need to bend that right knee. See how it feels. And then slowly bring your leg back to the middle, switch the straps and come over to the other side. Nice and easy, take your time, slow motion. Full inhale through the nose. Full exhale through the nose. And the same thing goes here. If the nose, if you find yourself unable to breathe through your nose, then breathe through the mouth. All good. Just see that you can have a full inhale and a full exhale. And then slowly bring your leg back to the middle. Take the strap off. <clears throat> Put the strap to the side. Shake the legs out just a little. And then lift your right leg again and put that right foot on top of your left knee. <clears throat> so there's a couple of options. So you could bring your hands around your left thigh, interlace the fingers and stay here and breathe. Perfect, nice option, activate your feet. You could also bring your arms to the side and it's totally up to you um, and push the hands, the arms down and then just keep that left knee bent and lower the left leg down towards the floor. And then again with your next exhale, you lift the knee back in. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower it down. And if I'm too fast, don't listen to me. Do your own thing. Exhale, lift it up. And then when you lift it up, bring the hands again behind your legs and just hold that figure four reclined pigeon pose. Activate those feet again. And then slowly let that left leg lower down onto the floor. And then we switch to the other side. <clears throat> left ankle on the right knee. <clears throat> you bring your uh, legs in. You can interlace here and you can absolutely stay here and hold. Client pigeon pose, beautiful pose to hold and breathe. You can also bring your hands to the side and slowly lower it down. I keep my knee bent. And if you feel very strong today, you can also do it with your leg straight, but maybe not because we didn't do it on the other side. That's just another option. Keep the knee bent. <clears throat> and then bring it back in with the exhale. And then with your inhale, we lower it down. Exhale. Inhale. Just one more time. And then lift it back up and hold your recline pigeon pose. <clears throat> Long neck. Create space between the shoulders and the ears. Breathe. Slowly lower down. And then just two more things or um, one thing. So if you feel comfortable, just bring the soles of your feet together, keep the knees bent and let the knees uh, let the legs open up to the side. So that's a pretty intense hip opener. If you feel like that's a little bit too much, then you keep one leg straight and then uh, keep your, you take a block. The right knee stays bent 
block or your blanket and then just have um, something underneath that right knee so you have support. So if you have that support, then the inside of your thigh, the inner thigh can uh, relax much, much easier. So a little bit like a tree pose. And you can bring that uh, foot a little bit higher up and see how that feels. <clears throat> and see how it feels for you that don't have the support. Make sure you're okay. You can also put maybe the fist underneath that, um, underneath the hip if you don't have any props close by. See how that feels. Just a little support. Mm -hmm. And then slowly bring the knee back in. If you are here with both knees to the side and that heaviness, you can also have those fists right underneath your, your hips to have a little bit of support. And then switch to the other side. If you had a right leg open, and now we go over to the left. If you have that block underneath it, go ahead and use that on this side too. All oh, those props are quite genius, you know, they had to come into certain poses and, and really relax into those poses, help you opening up um, the body. So never be too lazy to just go and get that prop. Go ahead and take it, try it out. It feels awesome. So if you had both knees open to the side, slowly put your hands onto your hips and close, have your legs closing back up. Same thing with if you had one leg out. And then just bring both knees into the chest and then cross the right ankle over your left. So your knees are opening up a little bit, bring your knees a little closer in and then hold onto the tops of your feet and uh, point your feet and push the heels up. So you're stretching the backs, the, the, the tops of your feet. <clears throat> Long neck. Breathe. And then slowly relax the feet. And now we switch. So the left ankle goes over the right. Put your hands on top of your feet. Point the feet and lift your heels. And then relax. And bring the feet onto the floor and shake the legs out a little bit. And then we come into a spinal twist. Um, so you can bring both knees uh, onto one side or you stretch out one leg, lift the hips, go a little to the side and then roll that right knee over to the left side. Again, if you um, have um, a blanket or the, the block close by, please use that to support. And then if you feel like it, you can look over to the other side or just keep the head in the middle. If you have both knees over, maybe you want to prop as well. <clears throat> Breathe into that lower back. Feel with your um, inhale, the space you can create with your chest, with the belly. And with the exhale, feel the weight of the lower body and maybe of your right shoulder and of your arms. And then slowly, slowly come back to the middle, adjust the hips, align the hips, feel like you know you're even out. And then 
If you have the props and you want them on the other side, switch them over, then lift your hips a little, put them over to the other side, and either bring both knees or just one knee over to the side, adjust your hips so that you can really let go into that um, prop or into the floor. And when you inhale, feel the expansion, the space you're creating in the belly, in the chest. And with your exhale, give in to gravity. Let the heaviness relax you down into the floor. Slowly bring the hips back to the middle, adjust the knees, adjust the hips, and then come over onto the other side and come up into a seated position. <clears throat> so you can sit again on your um, um, on your bed, of course, but I mean on your blanket or maybe on your bolster. And um, we are taking the strap. And yeah, maybe I should turn around, right? Yes, I turn around. <laughs> okay, so find the length again. And sink into your hips and lift up to the top of your head. Roll your shoulders back. Bring your hands to the side, onto the fingertips. And then inhale your arms up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, lower down. And then bring the strap over onto your left side. <clears throat> Did you see that? I don't have my pink one today. Okay, then lift your left arm. Reach all the way up. Put your right hand onto the floor and come into a side bend. Very, very um, gentle side bend. Push that left hip down, or rather, feel the weight helping you to anchor that left hip down. And then slowly come back to the middle, bend your left elbow, hold onto your strap, and bring your hand behind, and then open up into Gomukhasana arms. Right, cow face arms or tricep stretch. If you feel like your hands, they can touch each other and you want to hook your fingers, go ahead and do that. Yogi's choice. Breathe, feel expansion, lifting that elbow up gently, just um, a very small, small movement. And then watch your ribs, maybe bring them back in a little bit. And then slowly let go. Um, switch the legs, so just bring your, yeah, switch the legs around in more easy pose. Left hand goes onto the floor, right hand lifts up and you reach over gently. Find your length. And slowly, slowly lower um, back down and then hold on. Oh no, we have to switch the band, sorry. So switch the band over to the right hand. Maybe you did that already. Lift your right arm up, hold on to your um, strap with your right hand and then bring the left hand behind and hold on 
to your strap here. Breathe, expand up, exhale. Give into that gravity. Lower down the shoulders and the knees. Relax the jaw, the tongue in your mouth. If you feel like you can hook your fingers together and it feels good, then go ahead and do that. And slowly let go. And then bring your the band to the side and come onto hands and knees. <clears throat> so uh, one of the poses that I, I never really liked is that Gomukasana pose. And uh, actually just this morning, I, I figured out something that I could do to come into that pose without hurting my knees and my hips. So um, let's try and I show you. Um, but if you feel like, oh God, Mandy, no, 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 I can't do that. I totally understand. And please um, just, you know, do whatever, stop wherever you feel like, okay, this is it now. And I give you plenty modifications, right? So just come into that um, table. And then uh, just to get used to that leaning back, open up the knees a little bit, bring the big toes together and lean back. Into child pose. Breathe. Relax the elbows. And then slowly come back into table. And then stretch your right leg back out, tuck the toes under and push the heel away. <clears throat> and then so your left leg comes a little bit, moves a little bit into the middle, right? And then your right knee moves forward. Maybe have a look first, okay? So from tucking the toes under, you move the knee forward and then you slide. See how I slide my right foot over here. So you're crossing the right leg over the left. So then you can create a little bit more space. And if you feel like, yeah, that's, that's as far as I want to go, I'm with you, stay here. Feel that stretch, right? You could also lean back a little bit. Keep that right knee coming with you and lean back. Then your feet maybe you wanna move out a little bit to the side, see how that feels and you can lean back here, right? So that might be enough for you. Stay here or move from um, the table with the cross legs and then a little bit into that child pose with cross legs, right? So if that feels a little too much, um, you stay here. If you feel like, oh, I'm curious, I wanna see, I'm, my knees and my hips, everything is cool then you maybe want to walk your hands back a little, let's grab that block maybe, and then lean back, and then you can sit on the block. I'll show you from the front. <clears throat> sit on the block here, right? You can hold on to your feet. This is very intense. So if you're not get if you're not get here, that's absolutely fine, right? You can stay here in that table pose. <clears throat> I was debating if I do this with you today, but then I thought maybe you guys are waiting for cow face pose all the time and I never do it. So here it is. And then um, if you wanna go into that full cow uh, face, you can bring your, uh, your right arm all the way up and you can hook the hands or just move towards that. Another option is also bring your arms behind you and just hold on to your elbows to open up that chest. So your, your choice. <clears throat> Again, feel the heaviness in the hips. Feel the lightness, the expansion when you inhale. I know this is a tough one. So slowly come back forward, take your time, 
right? And lean forward. And then open up and hook those knees, open up the knees again and lean back into child pose. And slowly come back up. Same thing on the other side. So you have a good indication of what's going, what's going on with the knees and with your um, hips, right? So um, just stick with that, stick with what feels good, okay? And if you feel like I want to skip this pose altogether, then just come into a downward dog. I just show you for a moment that downward dog and then lower back down into table and then lean back into um, child pose just to have another option, right? Okay, so tuck the left toes under, open up the back of your knee, <clears throat> and then bring your right, oh yes, bring your right knee a little bit towards the midline, and then bring your left knee all the way forward and cross the left over the right, and see where you are. See if that feels okay. And that might be enough. And if you feel like uh, my knees and my hips are okay, but my wrists are starting to bother me now, then maybe you want to come into um, forearm hold, right? To give those wrists a little bit of a break. <clears throat> and again, you can lean back and see if you can move your feet out a little bit. <clears throat> and you can have your block or your blanket or a bolster and sit on that um, or sit on the floor. And moving again towards you, you can, you can hold on to your feet, find a length, and you can also lift the left arm up and then hook the hands. Oh yes, and I forgot, so uh, if this is an option for you with your hands don't hook, definitely go and get that strap, right? And bring it over your shoulder. I should have said that on the other side. <clears throat> or just hold your elbows behind or interlace the fingers behind you, open up the chest, or just bring your hands behind you onto the fingertips. Lots of options, right? One more breath. And then slowly bring the weight again forward. <clears throat> and hook those legs. <clears throat> and then tuck the toes under. <clears throat> and lift up into downward facing dog. You can pedal out the legs. Lower the hips. Um, the heels down, lift your toes if this is an option. If not, just keep the heels up and the knees bend and then walk forward. <clears throat> forward, forward, maybe hold onto those elbows again, bend the knees and walk gently from side to side. You can also just stay here, feel the weight pulling you down, the inhale lifting you up. The exhale, grounding you down. And then slowly let your arms go. And then we inhale halfway up. Exhale forward. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward. And then inhale all the way up, arms to the sides, scoop the abs in and up, reach up, and then bring the hands in front of your chest. Arms to the side, mountain pose. Lift your toes, soften the knees, lengthen the tailbone, scoop the abs in and up, sway a little from the left to the right to see where is my balance, where is the midline. Long neck. And then bring your hands onto your hips. Bring the weight into your left leg. Bring your right heel on top of your left foot. 
They're coming into tree pose. <clears throat> and then you can choose, you can stay here. You can also bring the foot a little bit higher. Come into your tree pose. If your um, legs and the knees and the hips feel like it, you can bring the heel up a little bit higher. Your choice. <clears throat> Bring your hands in front of your chest. Look at something that is not moving. Breathe. With your arms, reach up to the sky. If you feel like it, you can keep the hands on the hips or in front of the chest. Spread your fingers wide. Turn the pinky fingers towards the midline. Drop your shoulders down. Bring your hands back down onto your hips. Lift your knee, flex the foot, and slowly with control, bring your foot down. Bring the weight into the other side. And again, your choice, heel on top of your um, right foot, or here, or all the way up here, right? Wherever you feel, this is my shoe. Ground your foot you're standing on, soften the knee a little bit so you're not locking the knee. Look at something that is not moving, breathe. And again, tree pose is perfect for that grounding and expanding. With that exhale, feel the grounding, imagine those roots going down. And with your inhale, think of that Lengthening, expanding up into the sky. Spread your fingers wide, soften the right knee. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Lift your knee, flex that foot. My right side is definitely wobblier, and then bring your foot back down. Shake it all up. Come to the middle of the mat, open up for warrior two. Feet turned in, hands on your hips, uh, right thigh. Turn your right foot out, hands onto the right thigh. And actively push that flesh from the thigh out so that you have like kind of a tactile, um, I don't know, impulse to not collapse the inside. And then lift your arms, drop your shoulders down, reach. And again, this is perfect for feeling that grounding down into your feet, pressing the feet down. And also feeling that expansion, right? We are using the arms to open up the chest. Take a deep breath in, feel how it opens up. And as you exhale, soften the shoulders down, lower the hips, and press the feet down. Bring your hands back onto your hips. Straighten the front knee, turn your foot back in, and then left out. Again, hold on to this um, the muscle to the thigh, and then just press it, turn it out a little bit as you bend your knee. Shoulders over hips, scoop the abs in and up, lift your arms for warrior two, open up the chest. You're not just sinking down into the joints, you are lifted up at the same time. Inhale, feel how you create that space again. Exhale, the weight, the heaviness, gravity. Bring your hands back onto your hips, straighten the front knee, and turn the foot back in here, so back, and shake it out. 
bring your um, block and put your block onto your left side, right beside the foot. <clears throat> if you don't need a block for eagle pose, and if you want to put it on the floor, that's fine too. I always feel like it, it helps me a little bit. It gives me more security, more safety. So we bend the right knee and we bring the right knee over on top of that uh, block. Again, if you feel like you don't need a block, put it onto the floor. And then we bend the knees a little, right? So that you're almost sitting in. You can wrap your foot around your um, left leg and then uh, come into that leader pose. Lift your arms to the side, reach out. And then your right arm goes over your left. You hold on to your hands and you just press the back of your forearms together. Drop the shoulders down, lift your elbows up. Again, sink in with the weight, lift up with the inhale at the same time, right? And then open up the arms, bring the hands back down to the hips and straighten the leg. Switch over to the other side. <clears throat> hands onto the hips, bend your knees. And then bring the weight into your right leg. Lift your left and put the left foot onto that block. And you don't really have to lower down that much. This is it. Perfect, right? Tighten up those muscles. Stabilize that lower part of the pose. Lift your arms to the side. Left goes over right. Find your ujjayi breath. Lower your shoulders, lift your elbows, long neck. If you feel like you want to wrap that left foot around your right leg, go ahead. Slowly lift your arms to the side. Bring the hands onto your hips. Stand up. And then come to the front of the mat again. <clears throat> Inhale, your arms all the way up. Reach up towards the sky. Hands touch. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Soften the knees. Scoop the abs in and up and roll down, down, down. Hands touching the floor. Walk your feet back into downward facing dog. Breathe. Come on to the toes, bend your knees, lift the head, swing the legs over, <clears throat> stretch the legs out in front of you, take the pressure bits of the sit bones. I know, I'm over time again, right? Okay, so <clears throat> find the length in your spine, flex your feet, back to peers, pushing away. Breathe. Again, if you want to sit on that um, blanket to lift you up a little bit, it makes it much easier for your pelvis, for the rest of the body to sit straight. We've been sitting on two blocks. Um, try it out. See, um, you know, what, what difference it makes. Bring your right knee in. Bring your right foot over onto the left side. Wrap your left arm around. Right hand behind you. And if you you know, can't have enough of holding your legs around you, then of course you can bend your knee and come into that spinal twist. See the spinal twist with that knee bend, or with both knees bend. Again, inhale, expanding through the top of the head, all the way up, exhaling into the twist. And slowly untwist, 
straighten the legs out. <clears throat> Again, just first, find that length. Push through the top of the head, bring your left knee in. <clears throat> Over your right leg. Wrap your right arm around the left knee, bring your left hand behind you. And then you can work on the inhale, expanding up. And with your exhale, you go into your twist. And if you have that knee bent, go ahead and do that on the other side. So if it feels okay, if that other knee doesn't want to, you don't have to do that. Breathe. And then slowly take your time, untwist. Stretch your legs out and get ready for Shavasana. Um, definitely put something underneath your knees um, to get a little bit of a um, relief on the lower back. Not definitely. It's that you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then um, get your socks and maybe your eye pillows. Cover yourself with a blanket and do everything to get comfy for your shavasana. Yes, turn off the lights, whatever you need to relax. And then lie on your back. See that no props are touching your arms or your legs or your feet. Make sure your head and your neck are comfortable. Maybe you need a pillow. Maybe you need just to roll up something to put it underneath your head. And if you feel like something is not comfortable, it will not get better. It will nag. So get rid of it straight away. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale out with the sigh. <sighs> Feel the expansion and the heaviness in that. So one more time, inhale deeply, fully, and exhale out with a sigh. Maybe move your head gently from left to right. Same with your legs, with your arms. Find your comfy spot. Maybe you want to close your eyes. And then feel the points of your body where the body connects with the earth and trust that. And then slowly move your attention down towards your feet. And relax your toes. Your ankles. Relax the calf muscles and the back of the knees. 
the top of the knees. Your inner thighs. Hamstrings. Hips. Glutes. With the next exhale, allow your legs to become heavy. Soften the belly. Imagine the inner organs having space to spread out and sink down. Relax the chest. Soften your lower back. Your middle back. Your upper back. Relax your shoulders, elbows, wrists, all ten fingers. And with your next exhale, allow your arms to become heavy. Relax the back of your neck, the back of your head, the top of your head. Your forehead, temples, Ears, cheekbones, unhinge the jaw, relax the tongue in your mouth, soften the lips, the eyes. and the space between your eyebrows. And with your next exhale, allow your whole body to become heavy.
Now slowly, without changing anything, just bring your attention back to your breath. And then start to deepen your breath. Start to wiggle your toes, your fingers. Stretch your legs, stretch the arms, slow motion, gentle, kind. And bend one knee and then the other. Roll onto your right side. Make a pillow with your arms and just rest here for another moment. And whenever you are ready, push yourself up into a seated position. And then bring your hands in front of your chest. Lower the chin towards the chest and thank yourself for coming here this morning. I thank you for coming. Namaste.